Hi everyone, welcome to Imaging Study. Today we are going to see another case of Doppler ultrasound. This will be a case of Janssen arteritis with superficial temporal artery Doppler. A 36 years old female patient came to us with severe headache more over the right frontal region. This patient was sent to us for a right superficial temporal artery Doppler to exclude the Janssen arteritis. This is very early age for Janssen arteritis as we usually get it in elderly patients. This Janssen arteritis is a very common granulomatous vasculitis which affects the medium to large size arteries and we commonly check the superficial temporal artery if the patient comes to us with headache with or without the scalp tenderness. To scan this patient we had to give her a dark environment because she was feeling discomfort with surrounding lights. Let's see what we have got on ultrasound. Here you can see the right superficial temporal artery with high frequency linear transducer. If you check carefully, the wall of the superficial temporal artery looks quite darker in comparison to the surrounding hypoechoic tissue. The vessel is also tortuous. If you check here, the lumen is narrower at this segment. So this narrowing of the lumen with hypoechoic wall thickening and the tortuosity is the feature of temporal arteritis or you may say Janssen arteritis. Unfortunately, I have forgot to save the cross-sectional image of this vessel as I was very excited at the time getting this patient, which I was waiting for a long time. The axial cut will show you a hello sign due to hypoechoic circumferential wall thickening. Hope to show you next time. Here is the largest diameter of the lumen where you can see the diameter is around 1.7 millimeter. This is the narrow part. You can see the hypoechoic wall thickening quite well here. Now let's look at the spectral Doppler. Here on the spectral Doppler from the most dilated part of the lumen, you can see it is showing a normal flow velocity of the superficial temporal artery with a good amount of diastolic component. The pixastolic velocity was around 36 cm per second. Let's see some pictures of this right superficial temporal artery. Then we'll jump into the left one. Here you can see the narrowing of the lumen with the tortuosity. This hypoechoic area is the wall of the vessel, which is edematous. And the picture, and you can see this tortuosity well here. Now let's look at the left one. Here is the left one and you can see it is relatively less tortuous but the wall is still hypoechoic and thickened. This is the wall. You can see this is hypoechoic making the lumen narrow causing some aliasing here also. The pixastolic velocity on the left side was around 44 cm per second with a good diastolic flow here also. So in summary, bilateral superficial temporal arteries appear increased in diameter, tortuous in course, with circumferential hypoechoic edematous wall thickening causing luminal narrowing. Pulse of Doppler shows normal flow with a well-represented diastolic component. So this feature suggested as a case of Janssen arteritis, temporal arteritis or Janssen arteritis. Now the take home message. In case of temporal arteritis, patient will show you the artery as a painful area. So he or she will put finger over the temporal artery and tell you that this area is very painful, don't touch it. And when you put the transducer, you'll get the findings. So thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this. You can also check our previous videos. See you on the next one. Have a nice day.